Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today is November 3rd and although I'm not doing NaNoWriMo in the sense that I am participating on the website and joining groups and doing all the things, I had an idea for a novel yesterday which was November 2nd and I decided maybe it's time to go back to writing something new. I haven't written something new in a long time. So I was kind of like, wait a minute, where do I even start? As you guys know, I am a huge fan of Save the Cat Writes a Novel. And last year I did an entire series on all the beats. I have the playlist in the description box below. If you have not watched that series and you are writing a book, please, first of all, go get this book. You guys know how much I love it. Second, go watch that series that I did because I think it will help you um, put your book together and outline and just do all the things and make sure that you're hitting all the beats of your novel. So obviously, if I just had the idea yesterday on November 7th, on November 2nd, I am not even ready for outlining yet. So I was like, okay, so what is the first thing I have to do in order to get me to outlining and eventually obviously writing the novel? So what I decided to do, as you guys know, I have these two books. This is my book companion journal and um, my book companion journal, the nonfiction edition, which I just released. And when I initially published this book, I got a bunch of proofs with different covers that I had. And instead of ordering a new one, I decided to use this one. This is like the one original copy that I had done. Instead of buying a new book, I am going to go ahead and add a bunch of pictures that are going to go along with the book that I am writing. So I'm really excited about that because I've never really done that before. I've always kept it very true to its cover. I've never, you know, changed the cover or anything like that. So I'm excited to do that to this one because obviously I don't like the Amazon um, not for sale thing that they put on there. So that's what I'm going to use this book for is to keep track of all the things about this new novel that I'm writing. So that is the very first thing that I did. I, I picked up my book companion journal so that I can keep all my notes, all my ideas, everything, everything on this uh, book. That's the whole point of my book companion journal is not only to keep track of all the things that you're writing, but you also get to document your journey as I've done here. Like you guys know, I mean, I've showed you guys this before and there's plenty of um, videos on that on my channel if that's something you guys want to check out. But aside from that, let's get started on the very first thing that I said. Okay, so I have an idea. What is the very, very first thing that I need to do after getting that idea? And that is to write down my plot. What is the point of this book? What is the plot? What's going to happen? So I wrote down a bunch of different ideas as far as plot. I don't have it all together yet and I think I might even change it. Right now I'm thinking of writing a Christmas story and I think it's perfect to write it during this season and I'm probably going to release it next year around this time. But because Christmas is such a, a fun time of the year and I think I really get into it. It's going to give me all the right feels and all the right vibes and I'm not going to miss a beat instead of writing it in the summer or spring. I'm actually going to be writing this Christmas story right now during the Christmas season and I think that's perfect. So that was the very first thing that I did. Decided that it was going to be a Christmas story and I put out a bunch of different plot ideas. The next thing that I did is I wrote out a bunch of possible problems. Obviously, there has to be a conflict in a novel. You can't just, dis you know, everything can just be hunky dory and funny and, or, you know, there has to be a problem and then a solution. So I wrote out like 10 different possible problems for the novel. And I'm just going to work through that and see which one feels right and then go from there. The next thing that I did is I wrote down a list of possible characters. I knew who my main character was going to be. And spoiler alert, this is going to be a continuation of uh, my novel. I don't have it. I haven't received my proof yet. Anyways, I have not my proof. I haven't received my books yet. As you guys know, I just published this one, Choose Us, but I was in the process of moving and I didn't want to order a bunch of books. So this is the only copy I have of Choose Us and it's still like not for sale. 
but I am I did order some copies so they are coming but anyways in this book there's someone named Trevor so this Christmas book is going to be his story so it's got nothing to do it's going to be a standalone it's not part of this series or anything like that but if you do want to learn a little bit more about Trevor you could actually read about him in choose us and you know then eventually read on to his own story but like I said it you don't have to read that one to read the one the Christmas one it's gonna be a standalone novel which I'm really excited about so like I said I knew who my character my main character was gonna be and then because I had already created some possible conflicts and problems I kind of have an idea of who my characters might be and right now I have let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine I have like nine characters and that obviously might change this is all very preliminary but that's exactly what you have to do you have to brainstorm and and think about your plot and think about your characters and think about your conflict that is the very first thing you should do or that i recommend you do because that's how i do it before i actually sit down to write then what i did is i have a worksheet that i downloaded from uh, Save the Cat writes a novel as far as how to know your characters. I haven't done that yet. That was the last thing I did when I decided that I wanted to record this video for you guys because I'm like, this will be a great introduction to writing a book from start to finish. So I'm planning on doing more books, more videos like this regarding the process that I'm going through while writing this book. I mean, this is the very, very start of my idea process. So like I like if you have not written a book before and this is your first time writing or if you have your own process, but it's not quite working for you or it, or maybe this is just serving as inspiration for you for you to write your own novel. So whatever it is, I'm glad that you're here. I'm hoping that you're finding some value in it. And anyway, so like I said, I had the idea and I wanted to make sure I documented it so I stopped I didn't go in and answer all the questions about my characters because I wanted to share it with you guys so I'm gonna hop on my computer now and show you exactly what I'm talking about I have other videos on this and I'll link those also below because I aside from the beats that I did on save the cat I also did outlining and I also did this a video exactly about what I'm about to show you how I answered my characters um, uh, describing my characters and understanding who your characters are before you even sit down to write you have to know your characters you have to know who they are you have to know their age you have to know where they come from you have to know their flaws you have to know so much about them because how are you going to drive the story how are you going to write something if you don't know anything about your characters so without further ado let's jump onto my computer okay so here we go here are the questions that i will be answering before i actually even sit down to outline this is going to help me understand my outlining process a little bit more it's going to help me understand the characters even more and I don't know if you guys know this or not, but in Choose Us and Between Us, those are the two novels I wrote previously, I wrote them from two perspectives, the male character and the female character, and I intend on doing the same thing with this story. So these questions I will be answering again from both characters, not only what the male character wants or and you know you'll see what, the, what I'm talking about when I get to these questions, but also from the female perspective. So the question is who is the hero of the story so i will be answering that what is their big problem or flaw that is huge because this is going to drive the entire story you must know what is their big problem or their flaw how is this problem or flaw affecting your hero's life or world you guys understanding these two questions is the biggest service you can do your, to yourself and your writing process. It's just going to make your story so much better and so much easier to write. Next is what is causing this problem? Then at the start of the novel, what does your hero want? What is their goal, which eventually it will change? How has your hero been actively pursuing this goal? Why haven't they achieved this goal? This is very important. Also, you need to know 
why haven't they achieved this goal? Because that is also going to play a big part in the overall story because usually if you watched my series on save the cat and the beats this is basically they haven't achieved this goal because they're probably chasing number one the, the wrong goal or number two they're going about it the wrong way so you have to understand this next what does your hero actually need because what they think they need is going to be different than what they actually need what is their life lesson and what will fix their life these questions are so important to understand right at the start of the novel okay so in the next video i'm going to go over the outlining process because if i do my homework properly if i answer all those questions for both characters and i nail down the plot i should be ready to start outlining and i'll probably spend the next couple days doing that outlining and just getting my plot together and I'll start writing next week. I should be able to, you know, get a first draft by the end of this month, but I will be tracking it all here. In case you don't know, this also has monthly trackers. So once I am ready to write, I will know how many days I have left. I am aiming for 50,000 words. So depending on how many days, you know, if I only have 25 days, you know, to write, then I'll figure out how many words that means as far as getting my 50,000 words. But for me, when I usually, when I, I did Nano for Choose Us, I think a few years back, or I don't even know when I did it, but for me, it's more important to get the first draft down than to worry about the word count because I know the word count will eventually get there so I'm not too concerned with the 50k but you know I'll reach for that goal because that's a great goal but I'm more concerned about finishing the first draft than actually worrying about getting the 50k anyway I hope you found this video helpful if you have not subscribed yet make sure you do so so that you don't miss any videos if you are subscribed make sure you hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload a video because it might be a little sporadic for November because I do want to get these videos up as soon as possible so they may not be on my they may not be just on Monday which is my normal upload schedule so that's it I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you guys again in a brand new video soon until then stay safe